Good morning from the Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. It's Monday, August 22nd, 2011. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room from the back of the room looking forward across uh, over the shoulders of flight controllers as they watch over the systems aboard the uh, International Space Station. The uh, team of flight controllers currently on duty since uh, early Monday morning is led today uh, by veteran flight director Chris Edelin. He is joined on uh, console by Hal Getzelman. He is handling the uh, communications duties between the uh, flight control team here in Mission Control Houston and the crew aboard the International Space Station, the Expedition 28 crew. All of the uh, systems aboard the station are in excellent shape. It's been a uh, busy weekend and a very busy uh, first day of uh, what's expected to be a uh, uh, fairly busy week as well uh, for the crew members aboard the complex. The International Space Station is uh, currently uh, tracking across uh, the upper central portion of uh, Africa, high above Libya at an altitude of about 250 statute miles, just about to make a swing across the Mediterranean, Turkey, and then uh, out across Kazakhstan into an orbital sunset across uh, southern Russia, and then uh, Mongolia, China, and then the southern tip of Japan before swinging out across the Pacific Ocean. On board, the Expedition 28 crew is uh, made up of Commander Andre Borisenko and Flight Engineers Alexander Samokutyaev, uh, along with Sergei Volkov. Those are the three Russian cosmonauts that make up Expedition 28. They're joined by two U.S. astronauts, uh, Ron Guerin and Mike Fossum, and uh, Japanese uh, astronaut Satoshi Furukawa rounds out the six-person crew of Expedition 28. Borisenko, Samakutyaev, and Ron Guerin have uh, been aboard the station now for 138 days. Uh, they have been in space 148 day, 140 days since uh, they launched on their Soyuz TMA-21 spacecraft back on April 4th of this year. Okay. They uh, plan to be aboard the station until uh, early September. Their current targeted return home date is September 8th. There's, uh, there's no signs of uh, any... The other uh, three crew members, Sergei Volkov, Satoshi Furukawa, and Mike Fossum, arrived at the station back on uh, June 9th after their launch atop their Soyuz TMA-02M uh, spacecraft on June 7th. They have been aboard the station now for 74 days, 76 days in space for uh, those three crew members. There's quite a bit of uh, conversations going on, uh, focusing on a number of activities. The Russian cosmonauts have completed all of the uh, stowage activities inside the Russian 43 Progress Supply Vehicle. They've closed the hatch. Uh, they have planned to do a, a leak check to ensure a, a good seal between that spacecraft docked to the aft end of the Zvezda service module in preparation for its uh, undocking from the station at 4.38. Uh, Tuesday morning central time that 43 progress vehicle will loiter in orbit for some engineering evaluations by the Russian flight control teams before it's uh, targeted and controlled deorbit burn and uh, safe re-entry into the atmosphere uh, to burn up on September 1st. That sets the stage for the 44 Progress uh, launch. That uh, 44 Progress vehicle rolled out to the launch pad at Baikonur Cosmodrome um, this morning, and uh, uh, plans are for that uh, 44 Progress to launch atop a Soyuz rocket at 8 a.m. Central Time Wednesday, docking to the International Space Station at 9.38 a.m. Central on Friday. So a busy week uh, highlighted today by the first power-up of the Robonaut uh, uh, robot, robot aboard the uh, International Space Station, a very exciting opportunity to uh, begin operations with that Robonaut, uh, testing its electrical systems uh, throughout the early part of today. So the crew uh, quite busy throughout, uh, throughout this day and uh, the entire week of uh, another week of Expedition 28 aboard the International Space Station.